There are a lot of ways in Dungeons & Dragons that an adventurer can meet their ends, but one of the most horrific and one of the most classic ways to meet your end in this game is by Gelatinous Cube. I think it's time to talk about the horror that is the Gelatinous Cube, but let's talk about it. Everyone has their stories about it. So, for those of you who are unaware of what a Gelatinous Cube is, it is exactly what it sounds like, except it is uh, 10 to 15 feet in cubed size and um it can weigh up to 50,000 pounds that is a fun fact uh, I don't think a lot of people know that but they can weigh up to 50,000 pounds and it's actually legends say that uh there are much 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 bigger versions of these cubes so think like kaiju level gelatinous cubes which uh Hollywood come on I know we've got the blob which is a great movie in itself, but give me a gelatinous cube horror kaiju film, please! These creatures are a staple to Dungeons & Dragons, first appearing in the starter box in the 70s for the original Dungeons & Dragons. They've been around since the beginning, like many, many other classic monsters. So, what makes these so deadly? And I'm going to be specifically talking about 5th edition right now. So, first of all, they are completely transparent. You have to make a DC 15 perception check to even see this cube. Um, it is only CR2, so it's only really going to be deadly towards your lower level parties, unless it gets really lucky. But, they can be deadly in its own right. They're one of the few creatures that can actually go in the same space as someone else, and if they are in another creature's space, that creature is pretty much sucked up. The Latinus Cube, they have to make strength saving throws, so if you are a caster, you might not have the strength saves to get out of it. You'll be taking a lot of acid damage for low levels, and you won't be able to breathe. And a Gelatinous Cube can fit up to four medium creatures so that could be an entire party who gets enveloped into a gelatinous cube one of the most devious things i've ever heard is uh there being a hole in a dungeon that a dm made and it looked clear on the bottom or it looked like a pool of water and the party was like okay i'll jump into the pool of water and all four of them jumped into a gelatinous cube at the bottom and was dissolved because that's how gelatinous cubes get you they dissolve you and turn you into bones and yeah, that is it. That is a quick guide to the Gelatinous Cube. Have you ever used one in your game? Uh, let me hear your Gelatinous Cube stories. If there's another monster you want me to cover, please let me know down below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all next video. Be excellent to each other.